Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you guys doing tonight? Hi, uh, Lisa Alonso, how are you? Hi, right, teacher. Excellent, nice to see you. Is it raining where you are? Uh, no, but it's, it's, it's too hot. Too hot, oh my goodness. Over here it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, raining too. Okay. All right, very good. And um, okay. hi, Claudia, how are you? Okay. Hi, Jenny, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. Excellent. And Patricia, how are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. Nice to see you. Are you in the shower? No. Huh? Oh, that's a fan behind you. That's a fan. Yeah. Es un ventilador. Atrás de ti. Oh, it looks yes. like a. <laughs> it looks like a shower. <laughs> I think I think the same teacher. Oh, you thought the same, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks like it was a shower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Hello, Emily. How are you? Okay, and uh, Rufino, how are you today, sir? Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good Sorry. evening, Emily. I like my dinner. Okay, very good. Hi, very teacher. Good. Uh, Hello. A little, a little tired. Okay, a little bit tired. Okay, we're going to try to do this on as uh, fast as we can, okay? So you can rest and uh, have a dinner. And Emily, what are you having for dinner? Uh, can you repeat? Please? What are you having for dinner? Um, frijolitos. <laughs> oh my God, fried beans. That's a delicious with yeah. uh, sour cream and a piece yeah. of avocado. Avocado? Yes, avocado and, I, avocado and a piece of uh, cheese. Delicious. And two tortillas. Mm. Yes, total. Delicious dinner. Oh my goodness. And a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yes, very good. Oh my a goodness. Big cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm jealous now and I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's uh, start uh, the class and uh, good evening to every single of you. I'm uh, so glad to see you again. And um, I'm, we're going to do a little bit of uh, a review of what we were talking about the, yesterday. Who can tell me what did we talk about uh, yesterday? Anything that you can tell me from yesterday. Boys and boys. See? Uh, Voice and unvoiced consonant. Voice and unvoiced consonant, yes. Uh -huh. And the reason why we learned the voice and unvoiced consonants, Jenny? I don't understand. Repeat me, please. Okay, sí. Eh, vamos a hacer un review de lo que vimos ayer. Eh, me está diciendo una compañera de usted que vimos los voice y unvoiced consonant. La pregunta fue, ¿la razón por la cual vimos voice and voice consonants? Teacher. ¿Qué? Sí, Luis. Eh, eh, the reason was about the pronunciation on the regular verbs with the past name. Okay, yes, ajá. La razón por la cual vimos esa uh, voice and unvoiced es para poder nosotros eh, pronunciar bien las ed endings de los uh, verbos irregulares en pasado. 
para que no digamos, por ejemplo, de, uh, si tenemos el verbo want y está con ed, no digamos wanted, ¿verdad? Uh, sino que digamos wanted, como se, wanted. es la pronunciación correcta, ¿ya? Yeah. O si tenemos otro verbo que termina una uh, voice consonant y le ponemos el ed, entonces ya lo podemos pronunciar como la d al final. O si termina una voiceless consonant, entonces la ed va a sonar como una t, como una t. Yes. Esa era la razón por la cual, yes, uh, uh, Luis Enrique. Thank you very much. Yes. Y, y aprendimos cómo eh, detectar las consonants y las voice y las unvoiced, ¿verdad? Las uh, voice consonants okay. and the unvoiced consonants. Ok. Eh, espero que hayan estado practicando eso para que cuando estemos le tengamos la lectura y salga una palabra en pasado, usted hoy ya la puede pronunciar bien, ya sea uh, it, uh, the o t, ¿verdad? Ya no va a usted decir, uh, la va a leer incorrectamente, sino que ya correctamente, ya con lo que aprendimos ayer. Ok, very good, excellent. Uh, um, entonces, uh, no hay alguna pregunta de lo que vimos ayer. Ayer vimos acerca de adverbs, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? Y dijimos que usábamos los adverbs para qué, Tatiana Pleites. No. Perdón. Make a strong sentence. Yes, to make the uh, statement stronger, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo más strong, o sea, no solamente. Es... Yes, yes, very good. Yes, no solamente para decir uh, 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 she's beautiful, sino que she's pretty beautiful. Yes, it's very, very beautiful. Okay? Aprendimos eso para hacer más uh, statements, más strong. Y también aprendimos pronunciaciones. ¿Cuál pronunciación del, de cuál letra es la que vimos ayer, uh, Luis Alonso? ¿Qué es lo que dice? ¿Qué? Sí, Luis. Perdón. Es que no me dice. Please repeat. La pregunta. Sí. Uh, ¿Sí? Sí, sí, hay alguna pregunta de lo que vimos ayer conforme con respecto a los, uh, a los uh, uh, verbos que vimos ayer. Um, well, I, I, I think um, a talk with uh, the new pronunciation. Ok. Verb. The adjective and only, only that. Teacher. Ok, the adjective. Y también vimos la pronunciación de la uh, V, ¿verdad? Que dijimos que había que morder los, los dientes para poder pronunciarla bien oh. correctamente. Para que se nos oiga uh, como una V. V, Victor. Sí. Yes. Eso es lo que vimos ayer. Ok, eh, muy bien, excelente. Mm. Hoy lo que vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer una lectura hoy, uh, vamos a, a ver conjunctions también y vamos a ver a uh, moral verbs. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. ¿sí? Vamos a ver con, conjunctions uh, y moral verbs. Eso es lo que vamos a ver hoy, ¿ok? Ok, antes de comenzar, uh, we're going to ask a question like uh, we always do. And um, if you know what a uh, conjunction is, anybody, uh, anybody can answer this question. And the question is, what is a conjunction? Yes. What is a conjunction? Conjunction. Yes. 
No. No. I don't remember, teacher. Okay. Okay. Conjunctions are words that we use to connect two ideas. That is a conjunction. Okay, we have idea A and idea B. See, that's what we do. We connect two ideas. It can be it can be uh, positive ideas or negative ideas. Yeah, and the, the, the two con the conjunctions that we're going to be talking about today is and, but, though, and however. Yeah, those are the conjunctions that we're going to be using. And we're going to use them to connect two ideas, two positive ideas. Yeah. Okay, so for example, Santa Ana, Santa Ana, Santa Ana, Santa Ana it is an exciting, an exciting city. Okay, so this is an idea, one idea. Now I'm going to connect this idea with a conjunction word with another idea so after the first idea i have to put a comma to it okay so i say santa ana is an exciting city and and the weather is nice okay and the weather is nice so i have the conjunction over here the conjunction and to connect two ideas positive ideas, okay? So that is a conjunction. Conjunction is a word that I use to connect two ideas. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's all it is. Teacher, ¿qué es Conjunction. Conjunction, uh -huh. Yeah, conjunction. It's a word, es una palabra. En español, uh -huh, sí. Es una palabra que yo uso para conectar dos ideas positivas. Uh. Esa es una ah, conjunción. Yes. Y ah. vamos a ver la conjunción and y la ah. conjunción but. Do, Conectores. Yes. Do, ah, uh -huh. Y however. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esas son, uh -huh. son palabras ah, que okay. uso yo para conectar uh -huh. dos ideas. Dos ideas. Uh -huh. Yeah. En este caso estoy uh -huh. conectando Santa Ana is an exciting city. Comma. Uh -huh. I always have to put a comma. Come after mm -hmm. the first idea. Come uh -huh. the conjunction and y yeah. la segunda mm -hmm. idea. The, the weather, weather is weather nice. Is nice. Mm -hmm. Es un clima bonito. Lo puedo asegurar. <laughs> Usted de Santa Ana. Sí. Oh my goodness. Así okay. es. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Qué bien que dijimos algo bueno, ¿verdad, Luis Alonso? <laughs> si no hubiéramos estado en problemas. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> okay, so that is a conjunction, the conjunction and we use it to connect two positive ideas. Now we have, on the other hand, we have uh, we have the conjunction but, okay? Uh, so Santa Ana, Santa Ana, it is a big city, a big city. Comma, but, but yeah, it's, it's, but it, it's too far. Okay. Santa Ana is a big city, but it's too far. Yeah. Ahora, I connected two ideas. But what does it, what is the difference in these uh, two ideas, uh, Luis Alonso? What do you notice that is the difference the difference between the first and the second one? The, 
the first uh, conjunction is um, only um, when I say in, is only the Bajémosle a la televisión, por favor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the first one, what's the difference between the first uh, two sentences the first, and the second one? When I say in, is e, uh, um, the word is nice. O sea, adicional, it's additional. The, yes. It's adding, the, it's adding uh, information oh. to the first uh, clause, right? Yes. Okay. And the second, when I say Santa Ana is a big city, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, it's, pero, uh, it's como una, um, como una casi interrogación, interrogation. Uh, more or less. Okay, okay, yes, yes, uh, something like that. Uh, on the on the first one, we adding information to the first uh, thought, to the first uh, um, uh, like statement, and on the second one, yeah. what we're doing is we are contradicting the first statement with the second one. So the second, the second one, one is yes. contradicting the first one. See, Santa Ana is a big city, so that's a, something positive, right? But yes. it is too far. Yes. But, yes. but so far. it is too far. Oh, it's too far. So I'm contradicting. I'm yes. saying that Santa Ana is a big city, but on the other hand, I'm saying something uh, negative. That is too far. So the yes. first one, we have a, a positive yes. uh, uh, statement. And after the, the word but, yes. we have a negative statement. And on the yes. first, on the first uh, two sentences, both of them are positive. Okay. Positive. Yes. yes. Positive. Okay. okay. So, positive. so todos okay. me entendieron esto, lo que acabo de explicar. Si alguien no entendió, please uh, dígame, okay, para poder explicarlo de otra forma. Porque yeah. es importante. Yeah. Sí, 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 explíquelo. Mm? Yeah. Yes. What is the meaning of too far? Demasiado lejos. Demasiado lejos. Demasiado lejos. Yes. Very to be far. Yeah, demasiado lejos. Entonces, lo voy a explicar en español. La diferencia entre la, las primeras dos oraciones y la segunda oración es que en la primera en las primeras dos oraciones las los dos uh, las dos oraciones son positivas y se complementan mm -hmm. una con otra. Dice Santa Ana es una, una ciudad y, ah, emocionante. Y, es, emocionante. y sí. el, el clima es el bien clima bonito. Es bonito. Es bonito. Yes. Entonces las dos son positivas. Pero en la segunda, en la segunda no es así. La primera es positiva right. y la segunda es negativa. O sea, okay. la segunda está contradiciendo la primera. Dice Santa Ana es a big city. Santa Ana es una ciudad ah, grande, sí. ya, que es positivo, ¿verdad? Luego dice, pero está muy lejos, ¿sí? Eso, eso ya viene y es algo negativo que está diciendo, ¿verdad? Y alguien que, que quisiera ir a conocer Santa Ana no va porque el teacher dijo que estaba muy lejos, ¿sí? Entonces, eso es negativo. Puede ser que dice, la primera, cuando usamos la palabra but, lo que sigue después de la palabra but, que es un conjunction, lo que sigue es algo negativo. Yeah. Santa Ana is a big city, but it's too far. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Ah, yes, so. Yes, sir. Ok, very good. Ahora vamos a ver la tercera conjunction, que es uh, eh, though. Entonces, um, y ponemos siempre esto. Santa Ana is a big city. Yeah. Santa Ana is a big city. Siempre ponemos lo mismo. En este caso vamos a poner period. Esta es la diferencia cuando estamos usando el do. Ponemos period. It's not too big though. But Santa Ana is a big city. Entonces pongo it's. It's not too big. 
do. Aquí estamos usando el, el do, the conjunction do. It's a big city. Yeah, Santa Ana is a big city. Pero en la, en la segunda oración, después del punto, digo, it's not too big, though. Aunque no es tan, de, tan grande, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que estoy diciendo. Uh -huh. Santa Ana es una ciudad grande, aunque no, tu, no muy grande. Yes, no muy grande. Yeah. Eso es lo que estoy diciendo en la segunda clase. Ahora, si se fijan, la diferencia entre las primeras dos es que esta lleva un punto. Y dice... It's a big city. Santa Ana is a big city, period. Y luego viene la otra oración y ya di, le pongo cama antes de la palabra the. It's not too big. Cama, the. Yeah? Ese sería el formato que usted tiene que seguir. Santa Ana is a big city. It's not too big, though. Yeah? The. Aunque no es muy grande. Yeah. Yeah. Cuando Entonces, se use do, teacher, siempre va a ser al final. De siempre, la va ir, siempre va a ir al final, sí. Uh -huh. Always, it's going to be at the end of the sentence. En este tipo de, 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 de oraciones, ¿verdad? Porque usted lo puede escribir uh, de la, con una de las oraciones, Santa Ana is big, but it's not too big. Yeah, but it's not too big. Lo puede escribir con la, con la conjunction but. Ahora vamos a ver con el however. Siempre ponemos Santa Ana is a big city. Yes. It's not. Y aquí ponemos it's not. Le ponemos lo mismo de esto. It's not. It's not to be however. Yeah. Entonces. Es interchangeable, interchangeable. Podemos usar el do o el however. Yeah. However es de todas formas. Yeah. Santa Ana is a big city. It's not too big, however. De todas formas no es tan grande. Yes. Esa es la interpretación de esa. However. However. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Tendría que ser aunque. Aunque. Es, ajá. Aunque no puede no interpretar es de grande. esa manera también. It's not too big. Pues, oh, sin embargo. Sin embargo. Es, o sin embargo. Es same. Yes, ajá. O sin embargo, it's not too big. Dependiendo de cómo lo quiera interpretar usted. Yes. Mm. However. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces eso es, esos son las conjunctions uh, words, las usamos para conectar dos ideas, eh, ya sea una idea positiva y una negativa, o las dos ideas uh, positive, two positive mm -hmm. ideas. Ok, vamos a, a hacer una práctica. Eh, Jenny Sánchez, uh, dígame una oración. Usando estas conjunctions, pero de cualquier formato, ¿verdad? Puede ser eh, formato de la primera, usando el and, el formato de la segunda, usando el but, usando el, el formato de la tercera, usando el do, o el formato de la cuarta, usando el however. I like it, pupusas, but I, I like, don't like eating. I, I like Pusas. Ajá. But, but I but. don't like. Ajá. Eh, uh, spicy eh, pupusas. O picantes de jalapeño o algo así. No sé cómo decir. Ok. I like eating pupusas. But. Ahora vamos a decir algo negativo de las pupusas. But I don't like it, it pupusas. Spicy pupusas. But not too But. spicy. But ah, not okay. too spicy. Yeah? 
I like yeah. eating pupusas, but not the spicy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, entonces, yeah. le gusta comer pupusas, pero uh, que no sean uh, muy picosas, ¿verdad? Yeah, very good, excelente. Uh, Morena Medina. Um, usando cualquiera. Any, en cualquiera de las, las uh, four conjunctions that uh, vimos. Uh, sería, my word is very close. My words work is very close. Is uh, very close. Okay. Puede ser positivo o negativo. Puede ser positivo o negativo, sí, correcto. En. En y en. 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 Entonces aquí, my very, very close, comma, and. Y. Ah, y cómo pongo, eh, está, está, eh, en is, iris, 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 okay. iris, 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 Close the key. Está cerca. 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 Ajá. Pues si está cerca, está céntrico. Y es. Céntrica, pero. Ajá, pero está cerca, pero de mi casa, digamos. Ok. Tendría que ser my hot. No. Ok. Um, it is near. Is, it is near. Okay, mm. and it's near. near. My work is very close oh. and it is near. A house. A close is cerca, yes. near is cerca también. So, sí, near, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. and the cast. Uh, yes, yes. Ah, yes, yes. Um, 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 yeah, yes, yes. Yes, yes, y y y y y y y y y y y a please. And it is a please pretty. Pretty. ¿Y eso qué quiere decir? <laughs> que mi trabajo está cerca. <laughs> ah, y él dice que es un lugar bonito. Please, no, place, place, ¿cómo es? Place. And it is a... Uh, ah, okay, placer. okay, 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 okay. I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry. It is a pretty place. Place. Yeah. Oh. And it is a pretty. Yeah, my work is very close, and it is a pretty place. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Claudia Iraeta. I like to go to cinema. Mm -hmm. But not to see scary movies. I like to go to the cinema. But not to see mm -hmm. scary movies. Sí. Sí, scary movies. Okay, not to watch. ¿Y cuál sería lo negativo ahí? No, 
no me gusta ver películas de miedo, <risa> digo yo, no sé. Ok, El, lo contradi contradis algo que contradizca uh, something that uh, contradicts um, when you say I like to go to the cinema okay I like it but something that says that uh, even though you like it but it's not it's something that you don't want to do it but uh, not every day yes every day yeah they say I'd like uh, to go to the cinema, but not every day. Yes. Entonces, yes. Aunque a usted le gusta ir al, al, al cine, pero no todos los días. Yes. Eso ya está contradiciendo lo que dijo primero, que le gustaba ir al cinema. Entonces, I like to go to the cinema, but not every day. ¿Sí? Ok. Uh, Rufino, your turn. Uh, the plasma TV is is very nice, but the plasma TV is very expensive. It is very too expensive. Oh, very, okay, very. Oh, very, very expensive. expensive. Okay, very good, yes. Yes, uh, my plasma TV is very nice, but it's very expensive. Yes, very good, yes. Mm -hmm. Eso está contradiciendo, ¿verdad? Está diciendo que plasma TV is very nice, okay? You enjoy watching it, but uh, mm, uh, it costs you an, uh, a lot of money. Yes, very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Uh, Carla Veronica Ayala. He anotado dos, pero. <laughs> ok. La primera puse. I prefer eat spaghetti. I prefer. I prefer eating spaghetti. Spaghetti. Ajá. Uh -huh. And drink lemonade. And? Drink. Okay, okay. So the, I, I eat spaghetti and drink. Lemonade. And drink uh, a lemonade. A drink. Um, with it. Okay. I eat spaghetti and drink a lemonade with it. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Um, let's see. Patricia, Veronica, Salazar. Um, I like to dance. I like to dance. Uh huh. Uh, how, however, no, however, I don't do it much. I like to dance. Uh, however, no sé si así está bien. Mm, El... eh, esta es la, 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 la estructura, veo. Ah, entonces... Mm, sería I like to dance, punto, ¿verdad? Period, ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, I don't do it much power. Ay, no sé. <ríe> La idea es, me gusta bailar, pero no lo, no lo hago mucho. O sin embargo, no lo practico mucho. Ok. Lo puse mal. <ríe> I don't. I like to dance. I don't. I don't do it. Do it so frequently. Ah. Uh, do it so frequently. Though. Ah, uh, okay. Así. Sí. Yes. 
Okay, eso es lo que, lo que quiere decir. I like to dance, I don't do it so frequently. Do, do, yes. Do. Uh, me gusta bailar, aunque no lo hago muy frecuente. Okay. Yeah, very good. Tatiana, play this. Sí. Your house is small. No le escucho bien, perdón. Your house is small. Oh, my house. House is small. Okay. He says, my house is small. Is small. Small. Full stop. Period. Full stop or period. Period, okay. Is no two small dough. My house is small. It's not too small, though. Too small, though. Though. Though, okay. It's not too small, though. Okay. My house is small. It's not too small, though. Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, ¿Alguien más quiere participar? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. I like to visit it uh, like Cuatepec. I like it to is... visit uh, visit uh, uh, Cuatepec Lake. Cuatepec Cuatepec Lake. Uh -huh. It is very far, however. Period. It is very far, however. Yeah, period, right? Period. It, 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 it's pretty far, however. Yes, very good. I like to visit teacher, uh -huh. teacher, excuse me, in the Cuatepeque, the capital letter is letter C. Okay, Cuatepeque, like that. Is is correct. Okay, very good. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I like to visit Coatepeque Lake. It's uh, pretty far, however. Very good. Excellent. Anybody else? Okay. Um, listen in the class. I, I don't know if there, however. I listen to the class. Class to the English class. English class. Mm -hmm. Period. I, I don't understand, however. I do not and um, understand it I don't understand it however okay very good okay very good I listen to the English to the English class uh, I do not understand it however very good excellent anybody else I like I like mango I like mango me too I like mangoes uh huh, and it is comma and sweet, huh? And it is too sweet. Mm, no, 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 esa oración. Why, teacher? Porque I like mangoes and uh, uh, 
y apples to. Aquí sí, apples to. Yeah. Me gustan okay. los mangos y las manzanas, las manzanas también. también. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, yes. tenía que decir al, algo que le gusta aparte de los mangos. I like okay. mangos and apples too. Pero si digo, I like okay. mangos and they are sweet too, no, no, no tiene, no hay, no es coherente. Es una redundancia. Exacto, sí. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 But uh, the idea was, was good. Yes. I like okay. mangos and you, apples too. Two. Okay. Okay, let's um, let's uh, now we get we're ready for the uh, for the uh, uh, exercises on the platform. Let's see if we can uh, complete them um, together. Let's see, just a second. Okay, well, one moment. Can you see? Okay, now this is the exercise on the platform. And it yes. says, read the sentences and choose the correct uh, conjunction. Now what we know mm -hmm. what a conjunction is and okay. uh, uh, which are they. Over here we have mm -hmm. and <clears throat> and but. Okay. okay. So the first one it says, uh, typey is very <laughs> nice. <Very> nice. <laughs> Everyone mm -hmm. is extremely, extremely friendly. friendly, yes. Okay, we're gonna select uh, um, the, the best answer. We have two answers over here. The first one says uh, typey is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Typey is very nice, but everyone is extremely friendly. Which one will be the best uh, option? The number one, typey is very nice. Yes. And everyone is extremely friendly. Yes. Very good. It says that uh, typey is very nice, comma, and everyone comma, and is extremely everyone. friendly. Yes. So we have uh, two uh, positive ideas. Yes. Over here, we have a negative idea and positive. So that's uh, not the correct one. Okay. Number two. Who wants to do number two? Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. Okay. Um, the streets are crowded and it is easy to get around. And the second, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around through. Do. 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 Uh huh. The second. The second one? The second one. Yes. Okay. And everybody agree with that? Todos están de acuerdo con él? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around, though. No. Eh, dice, las calles están eh, eh, congestionadas. Congestionadas. Y es, es fácil, fácil de caminar por ellas, por aún ellas. así. Ok, eso es lo que no. Ok, very good. Uh, number three, who wants to do number three? Jenny Sánchez, yes, please. The weather is nice. Summers, summers get pretty, pretty hot. Very good. The correct answer is the first sentence. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however. However, yes. Okay. Very good. Everybody agree? Todos están de acuerdo con Jenny? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's do number four. Who wants to do number four? Shopping is great. great. You have to worry in the market. Okay. The fear 
Shopping is direct, but you have to begin in the market. Okay. I'm going to help you with the uh, pronunciation, okay? It says, uh, shopping is great. 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 Shopping is great. You have to bargain in the markets. Yes. You have to bargain in the markets. Bargain is uh, regatear or negociar. This is bargain. Okay. Leamos otra vez, por favor. Shopping is great. Great. You have great. Shopping great. is great. You have to. But, but you have to bargain in the markets. You have to bargain. Bargain. Yes, you have to bargain. Leamos otra vez. Shopping is great. 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 Shopping great. is great. Uh -huh. You have you have to very no <laughs> bargain. Uh, bargain. 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 Uh -huh. In the market. Leamos otra vez. Shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. Bargain. Bargain. Bargain, yes. Otra vez, leamos otra vez. Shopping is <laughs> great, 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 great. Shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. Bargain. 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 Bargain, yes. But you have to work in the markets. In the market. Okay, and what is the answer? The Can you read the answer, please? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Excuse yo creo que por... Por respeto a todos, si alguien tiene televisor o radio encendido, lo debería de apagar pues, para que pongamos atención, porque sí. estamos aprendiendo y aún así nos cuesta. Sí. ¿Verdad? No me van a disculpar, pero... No, sí, está, está bien. Gracias. Gracias. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Entonces, shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. Sería... Eh, eh, la pregunta y la respuesta ¿cuál sería? Shopping is great but you have to bargain in the market. Ok. Yes. Entonces es contradictorio, ¿verdad? Es, eh, una es positiva y la otra sería negativa. Eh, even though it is great but you have to bargain in the market so, because otherwise you're going to get everything so expensive. Too expensive, right? Yes. So you have to bargain. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Um, number fifth. Number five. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. Okay. What would be the answer? The food is, is delicious and, and it's not too expensive. And it's not too expensive. Yeah. Everybody agree? Todos están de acuerdo? Yes. 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 Okay. So sí, porque, eh, the food is delicious and it's not too expensive. Si sí, sería too expensive, but it is not too expensive. Eh, no tiene sentido. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, what the meaning of is bargain? Bargain, bargain is uh, when you say bargain is regatear. 
negociar. Pedir rebaja. Rebaja. En buen salvadoreño, pedir rebaja. Pedir rebaja. Yeah. Yeah. Eso es uh, bargain. Es uh, regatear, pedir rebaja. Ok. Very good. Excelente. ¿Alguna pregunta de lo que hicimos? No, oh, Ok. Now we're going we're gonna to talk about the moral verbs. Moral verbs. Los moral verbs son verbos que nosotros usamos para modificar cosas, ¿verdad? O para cambiarle el meaning a una oración. Pero antes de eso, vamos a, a, a tener una lectura. Vamos a, a leer algo donde eh, vamos a ver, aplicar los moral verbs. ¿sí? En la plataforma casi no se nota esta, esta lectura. Entonces, uh, la escribí yo en, en un uh, en documento de Word para que no tengan esa dificultad de estar adivinando qué letra es y, y qué es lo que dice. Entonces, uh, vamos a, a leerlo. Lo voy a leer yo primero y después vamos a, a, a buscar dos personas para que eh, practiquen la lectura. Y las, las moral verbs que vamos a ver aquí es can, que es, es uno de can, y el otro es should. 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 Yeah, should, que es este aquí. Should. Uh -huh. can, can y should. Esos son dos moral verbs should. que vamos a ver. Can. Yes. Can, can es de habilidad. Can. Yes. O, per, o permission. Ability o permission. Should. And should. Yes. Y que es de advice. Yeah. Es de, de como, como un, uh, un consejo. Yes. Should. Well, you should definitely. Deberías de. Yes. Yeah, lo que quiere decir should. Entonces, uh, eh, the, uh, sí, Luis Enrique, dígame. Teacher. Yes, sir. El verbo good. 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 And the, the second row, what yeah. good. What would you like, yes. What would you like? ¿Qué te what gustaría? Would you like? Okay, that, that is a, a model, right? Sí. ¿Qué te gustaría? What would you like to know? ¿Qué te gustaría saber? Entonces tenemos este, el would, también, que lo vamos a ver, pero más que todo esto se concentra en, en ability y uh, permission, ¿ok? Pero sí, el would es otro uh, model verb que tenemos aquí. Ok, very good. Ok. Thank you, Luis Enrique. Thank you. Ok. It, it, it reads as follows. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? What would you like to know? Well, what's well, a good time to visit? I think you well, can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay. Entonces le vamos a dar ese, 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 ese acento y con esa fluidez lo vamos a leer. Vamos a tratar de leerlo, ¿ok? Vamos a empezar con Luis Alonso y Luis Enrique. Los dos Luises. Ok. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of the Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss it. You shouldn't miss the pyramid I, of I the song. Pyramid, pyramid. Pyramid. 
mm -hmm. of, of the song is very interesting. Yeah. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, very good. Solo no escuché la S. It all sounds, yeah. All sounds, sounds. Really exciting. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Ahora okay. switch places. Now switch places. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and they go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the pyramid and the song. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Luis Alonso, uh, definitely. Yes, definitely. Definitely. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Yes, you shouldn't you miss shouldn't the pyramid of the sun. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Good job. Emily Yamilet and um, and Patricia Veronica, please. Great teacher. Thank you. Uh, I can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, uh, what's a good time to visit? I think you can you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what? Should, uh, oh, good. And what should should I stay there? Well, you should definitely. Definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, should, oh you should not should miss the pyramid of the sun. <laughs> it's very interesting. It all sounds oh, no. <laughs> oh, sound really exciting. Exciting. Okay. Mire, usted quiere arrasar con todo, ¿verdad? Déjale un poquito a ella. Sí. Ok, very good. Y donde tuvo problemas es, oh, you shouldn't. Shouldn't. Yes, you shouldn't miss the pyramid of the sun. Ok. Now, switch places, please. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like? What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should define the. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Museum. Art. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the... What do you pronounce? Pyramid. 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 Okay. Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. It all sounds very exciting. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Tenemos un tiempo so para great. uno más. Claudia Iraeta y Carla Verónica. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. 
and what should I consider? <laughs> well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Art. And what else? Oh, you should then miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It's also really exciting. Okay, very good. You shouldn't, but I shouldn't uh, miss. Very good. Excellent. Switch places, please. Hello? Switch places. Come in lugar. Can you tell me? <laughs> 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 can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. Okay. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what shall I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It's our sun really exciting. Exciting, yes. Exciting. exciting, very good, excellent. Good job, good job. An applause about the applause to everybody who uh, did the reading. Tomorrow we will continue with the uh, other people that want to read. Okay, you guys are doing a wonderful job. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna do also an explanation about uh, modal verbs, okay? Um, well, uh, thank you for uh, being on time and for having your cameras on. Have a good night, all of you. I see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.